Hello everybody. In this tutorial, we are going to look how we can measure pitch, roll and uh, using MPU6050 gyroscope or accelerometer sensor. So, what can a gyro do? Actually, it can detect the orientation. So, the gyro chip is right in the middle here and it detects the moment in three directions x axis, y axis and z axis. But in the terms of aeroplane, we can demonstrate it through a small animation. It has three terms, pitch, roll and air. The pitch is rotating in this axis and which should be shown as here. Roll represents in that direction and air rotates in this direction. I think now you are clear about the direction of pitch, roll and ear. So now let's move to the wiring of the sensor and its programming. We will also show you some couple of demos as well. So I have already made a few videos on MPU6050 sensor. So it's a I2C module. We only need to interface its four pins to the Arduino and they are VCC, GND, SCL and SDA pin. So we just need to hook them up with FO and FI pin of the Arduino which are STA and SCL. I have also added a small 0.96 inch I2C OLED display to display the pitch, roll and air measurements. This display module is also I2C module. So we will connect the STA and SCL pin to the same pin that we have connected with MPU6050 sensor. The SCL pin is connected to the F5 pin of Arduino and SDA is also connected to the FO pin of the Arduino. Now let's move to the programming part. So here you need a working library for MPU6050 sensor. So for that go to the manage libraries and search for MPU6050 and scroll all the way down until you see MPU6050 underscore light by ref trip. So this is the only library that worked for me after trying for a few hours. Uh, before I have tried few more libraries but they were not working well. So just install it and go to the file menu, examples and then search for MPU6050 light and click on get angles. So this is your final code. So here under the void setup part, they are calibrating MPU6050, just saying do not move. This is only important for calculating air. So for calculating air, you should calibrate your MPU6050. But for pitch and roll, it is not compulsory. So if you are working uh, for pitch and roll, you, are, you don't need to calibrate your sensor. Now on the serial port, make sure you have got 9600. So to display the results on the OLED display, you need to install few more libraries and the driver as well. Full program code will be provided in the description of this video, so don't worry. So for now, just upload the code by selecting your correct Arduino board and COM port. So after a successful upload, we are done with this. So let's see some demos here. You can see on the display for the first time it's saying hold it in the stable position to calibrate the MPU6050 sensor. So you should hold it on the stable position and there we go. So the pitch, roll and air can be seen on the display. So this project may be very useful for you like if you are working with self balancing robots or drone projects or any other similar to this. So now let me show you what happens when you don't calibrate your MPU6050 gyroscope sensor. As you can see here, the ear is slowly increasing over a time. The pitch and roll are somehow stable but A is just increasing up and within a few minutes it goes up to 20 to 50 values. So I don't know what was the case, you just need to calibrate it before using it. 
so that's all for now i hope you enjoyed watching this video please do subscribe to this channel for more amazing content in future it's me elson signing off for today see you soon on the next video thank you